everybody. So I'm going to demo for you today Kohler Classical, which is a new complete working environment built on top of Reaper that allows you to do multi-track, track group, source destination editing. Basically, this is the complete functionality that you have in applications like Pyramix um, and uh, before that, Sonic Solutions. So what you see in front of you here are 10 track groups. Each of those track groups is about a 45 or so track group. So there's actually, in terms of Reaper tracks in front of you, there's more than 450 tracks. You can see down here, I think it says 436 is this track number and there's a bunch of tracks inside of that. Each one of these track groups has in it all the individual tracks and each item you see out on the top destination track group is a grouped item so when I click there you see one item but if you open it up you see it's actually a grouped item with all the individual tracks in it when you're editing you don't need to see that however um, so and this has complete source destination editing functionality, a completely redesigned menu system. Um, you'll see the menu system at the top here is completely new and totally customized for this type of multi-track track group editing. More than 350 new functions and a new marker system that allows you to have markers on all the separate track groups. So I can have markers here on my red group, including up to 97 markers, plus on each track group there's a special in and out marker that's used for many of the functions. But if I go to the green track now, those go away, and now I can sh make markers on the green track. The only markers that persists from track to track when you're moving around is the currently selected in and out source markers because that's used for your source destination edits. So if I go down to the brown track, the green ones are still there because that's the last in-out markers that I set. The red ones are still there too, but you have to go to the red track to see them. Okay. So to do um, a source destination edit is very simple and takes just a click. In fact, what I like to say with this system with Kohler Classical, everything you need to do in classical music editing or multi-track track group editing is one click away. So to do a source destination edit, let's say I've selected that piece of audio in the green track and I want to put it here up in my destination. I just select an in and out point and I click and there it is. It's in place. The, uh, the crossfades have been inserted. All the audio has been automatically rippled and it's done. And you can undo it with a single click as well. Um, this uh, system also includes a whole new click and drag crossfade editor. And the crossfade editor, importantly, respects and ripples all the markers, all the edits, and all the automation points, which is what you need in multi-track editing. So for example, in this file, you can see I've got many automation points set up, hundreds of automation points. And let's say I go in and edit this fade right here. So I edit this fade. I'm going to zoom out so you can still see the automate some of the automation points. There are some automation points. Now when I drag the right side of this fade, and, and I'll put in a marker here so you can see what's going on, and a marker here. When I drag the right side of this fade, you'll see all the automation points move, all the tracks move, and all the markers on the right move. When I drag the left side of this fade, everything on the left moves. So everything stays together. Um, this is your fade editing mode. All you have to do to line up the audio is drag the right, drag the left, get it in the position you want, set the length of your fade. Notice it's editing all the fades at once. You can drag, if you want to change the shape, see it's changing the shape of all of them at once, etc. You can symmetrically change this. All click and drag. 
Now, if you're, if you're in love with the Reaper dials and you really want to see them, you can still see those too. So you can pop those up and work with, some, work with your dials or close those. Um, I try to avoid them because they tend to uh, take too long to do and they're unnecessary. And you're in and out of the fade with one click and back to your previous zoom level. That's it. That's all there is to source destination editing. There's, as I say, there's 350 functions here and all kinds of features that you can't even imagine uh, to make it so that your multi-track track, uh, track group editing project is highly efficient. Um, so contact me if you're interested in learning more about Kohler Classical.